Hi, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. How's it going? Everything is going pretty great here. In fact, we've been on a bit of a shopping spree lately, but more on that just a little bit later. So I know most of you know me from selling used items on other venues. However, I like everyone else when I shop, I'm often looking for brand new items as well. And I like to find the right item. And you know me, I'm cheap. I like to find the right price. And for months now, daughter Julie, she's been begging me to get a shopping app on her phone. And I kept saying, no, you're too young to do that. And I put off even looking at it. And finally, I went ahead and she put a shopping app on her phone called Temu. And I had heard of it, but I had never actually used it before. And when I finally went, went to look at it myself, the next thing I knew, me, Julie, wife Amanda, we were on a shopping spree. And now when I'm shopping for new items, I am usually checking Temu first. See, Temu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories. Like electronics, toys, just anything you can think of. Like... I got this cargo net for my Jeep. Just came. I'm going to be putting that in. Uh, I'm going to be putting that in tomorrow. You might see that in future videos. I don't have it installed yet, so it won't be in this video. But I'll go ahead and put a show and put a picture and price up on the screen. And I'll have I will have links down into the description to everything I show in this video, so you can directly click through and find those items. And one of the things I love about Temu is that it has free shipping on items shipped from Temu and free returns for 90 days, and they'll give you a $5 credit for late delivery. You know, free shipping, free returns, the very things that I can't afford to do in my own online store, somehow Temu does it, and they still have incredible prices. And I don't know how they do it, but somehow they do. They've got some sort of next level brain work in there that I don't have. Now what you want to do is you want to download the download the Temu app to get a hundred dollar coupon bundle. Uh, there'll be a link both in the description and I'll have it in the pinned comment below. Or you can search my code DKV7836 on the Temu app to claim this hundred dollar coupon bundle. And that will get you started with all sorts of deals. And there are definitely all sorts of deals to be had. Sometimes just very basic things like I am a gadget freak when it comes to my listing station. So I can never have enough power strips. So this right here, $4.68 multi-spot power strip with USB, with USB charging ports. And it costs $4.68. And I think you're going to love this next one. This here is a, uh, is a webcam but you say well Paige I know what a webcam is but this could bring your listing station to the next level because check this out I just set this up in my listing area here see like I've got this little lion I'm listing I don't have to use a separate camera I have a separate photo session anymore I can just take my pictures of that item right from the computer and not have to be downloading them from a phone or re-uploading them or any of that. That has been a game changer in saving my time. And it's another thing I love about Tamu is that it's just always easy to add something online, a little gift maybe for Julie, like this space pillow that represents a planet because she's loving, loving planets lately. So, hey, why don't you go ahead, download that app, Use my code DKV7836 and start saving money with Temu. One Foot Flipper. Hi, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. This is mostly going to be a sales video. Sales have been pretty slow, so this covers a larger amount of time than usual. I really need to get back to listing on a regular basis. All right, let's get into them. So it's spring break here. I'm getting very little done because I don't get as much done when my daughter's home. And today I find myself not only having one tween girl, but I ended up with four of them as a series of invitations that got put off suddenly all collided together into one mini party. Let's see what kind of stuff I've sold. 
Can you hear Parker barking back there? He's barking because the girls are outside. Or she's barking because her kitty friend is outside. We don't have a cat, but there's several that wander the neighborhood. And Parker barks at them constantly whenever she can see them. German folk songs, 1908, $5.55. I'm sure she thinks she's keeping the house safe from cats because no cats have gotten inside since we've had her. Model train bridge, $28. This is the center cap to a Sega Turbo Arcade Game Steering Wheel. I sold it as a paperweight, and it sold for $8.87. And I have this record. It's not that interesting looking. Superstar Collection, Volume 1, $9.03. It's just a hits type of thing with multiple artists. Kiki D, Loving and Free, $2.25. Starting to run out. Well, I'm not starting to run out of records, but I have far less than I used to. Star Wars Galactic Funk by Miko, eighteen dollars fifty-one cents. Couple action figures here: Rose and Paige from Star Wars, six dollars and ninety-five cents. Yeah, I've got my own action figure. You know it. Tervis Disney Disney Cup, four dollars eighty four cents, and a bag of eighteen rock cassette tapes, Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, Van Halen, that kind of thing, eleven dollars and twenty five cents. All right, got a few more sales here. It's Sunday night. It's been a pretty slow weekend. I still haven't gotten my store back up up to snuff yet. Haven't gone out to any garage sales yet, but I hope to soon. I'm getting. A little bit better at walking every day. They're coming back in to readjust my leg tomorrow. I'm going to have them shorten it a little bit more. So this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet store pre-release poster, $9.90. This is on like a thin cardboard rather than paper. I do have one of these left in my store. If that would just be the perfect item for your room, which for some of you I bet it would. So this Jasmine Christmas ornament. I have tons of different Christmas ornaments with names on them in my store. Why don't you get them now? So... Because my wife has to put the names on them a lot of times and get them now off season instead of so she doesn't have so many to do at Christmas time. Sold uh, a lot of 11 Dork Diaries books for $25. These were my daughter's. I think she lost interest in them halfway through the second book. I'll throw a picture of it on the screen since I it's already pre boxed. For $61.07, I sold three custom Warhammer figures. These guys are put together from multiple figures. My old friend Ed did these many years, many, many years ago. And something like this is the sort of thing that's looking for a buyer. It took a year and a half, I believe, to sell these, but ultimately the same person bought three bought all three of these. They were separate listings at $61.07 total. I sold 10 pieces of 12-inch train track uh, between two different orders at $5 per piece. Sold a lot of Jackass and Steve O related DVDs, $21.94. This also took about two years to sell, and I had a good price on it in the first place. Media, just I'm not loving media anymore. I, st I started as a media specialist though back in the 90s. Camera charger, two bucks. Nothing much to say there. I'll put it up on, well, now that I even put it up on the screen, just a couple of old Warhammer guys sold for $13.50. I got these recently when I bought a whole box of figures for $70. Bucks. And that box is almost paid for itself, and I still have most of it. Right, I sold this uh, Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Preview. This is the thing they gave away free in game stores. $3.40. Now, off topic for me, I sold a brand new pair of women's shoes. I pretty much don't buy shoes unless they're new in the box or very vintage. Me selling shoes is a pretty rare thing. $7.16. Yep, big money plus shipping. Sold. This is a Blood Bowl team for the Blood Bowl football game sold for $25. Let's 
I had about three bucks in this. Sold this Flying Aces Pulp Magazine, low grade, four dollars eighty cents. Came in a big stack of airplane magazines I bought quite a while back. That is, I think I'm ten x my money off of it by now. These are some early Warhammer figures. Uh, Rogue Trader Imperial Guard. He sold for fifty dollars. Now I only paid seventy dollars for an entire shoebox full of figures that this was in. Actually, I think this might have been in the same shoebox. So these alone paid for the entire shoebox. And there's many more. Floppy disk case for the five and a quarter inch floppies. Uh, sold for seven seventy two. Not much money, but I like to save these out of the Goodwill bins when I see them pop up there. Because they don't make these things anymore. I don't want them getting destroyed. I want the people who want them to be able to find them. Because I've kind of a soft spot in my heart for vintage computers. So don't want these things to just go to waste. I have to put a photo up because it's already kind of wrapped up. Got this from Jimmy the Dolphin Flipper. It's a Christmas Village ceramic quilt, quilt shop. Lighted house. Sold for $10.58. Uh, so I sold about six pieces of train track. Five dollars each. I'm gonna own the straight track ever sells, and once again, gonna run out of a full box of straight track while I've sold one piece out of my curve track box. This is a pony, a nylon, ten dollars plus shipping. I will put it up on the screen because it's already in the box. This is a giant Pokemon lenticular poster. It sold for what did it sell for? Sixty-six oh four. Just to repeat, another 50 bucks for shipping to Canada via the eBay International. I don't actually ship directly to Canada. Bobblehead, $20.94. It's all for now. Sold a big box full of mostly country music, eight tracks. Uh, low grade as far as how they look. 33 eight tracks in total. $21.50. I paid $2 for those at a garage sale. It was did take about two years to sell, though. Yeah, didn't take much work though. Sold this bobblehead $20.71. This is going to be a local pickup tomorrow, which will be in the past by the time you watch this. So I saved the customer who bought this $90 in shipping fees. I sold three separate things of Blood Bowl miniatures to the same customer, a gentleman who lives in Tasmania. And he, at first, bought them as three separate transactions. And the eBay International charged him an absolute fortune at it. We sent some messages back and forth. We canceled the order. I, I combined them into one listing instead. And it was something like $80 or $90 cheaper on his end when he bought it a second time. So you might want to think about that if you've got anybody international trying to buy more than one item at once. Sold this hat for five whole dollars. However, I bought this hat that same day for one dollar. So, hey, great. These jeans bought at the same garage sale. Normally I'll buy clothes, but this was my first time out picking at garage sales this year. I only found three. The pickings were very slim. There were two perfectly good looking pair of Levi's there for two bucks each. So I bought them. First one sold within three hours, $14.80. The other one is still up for grabs. <clears throat> Sold a body-only train car. No wheels. $24.01. And finally, a custom Warhammer figure that had been put together from multiple figures back in 1989, 1990 era. Sold for $20.86. Okay, I sold this Sizzix Big Red Machine. It's already boxed up, so I'm going to put a uh, photo of it up on the screen. Got this from Metabubble, so I'll put a little money on his spreadsheet sold for $31.30 sold another piece of train track five dollars this made my current listing go out of stock however I have plenty more of it raised the price on it once again the stuff keeps selling out even I raise the price slightly every time I relist it I don't imagine it can go hugely over five dollars I started it at four I don't think it I think the ceiling is not too much above five dollars, but I guess we'll see. Old Yeller sealed, two dollars seventy six cents. Although I only had a quarter into this, so that's all right. 
We got your Dan Fogelbergs here, $2.46. Double LP, so I didn't make much on this because this is going to cost 70 cents or 80 cents more than a single LP to ship, even though I charge the same thing. Dragon's Lair, $8.99. I've got a short because I got this in a big box, but the big box was destroyed by flood damage. I get a short where I open it, but inside, because it was a double layer, dual layer box, inside the jewel case was still sealed perfect and spotless i didn't even have to clean this off there's not a thing on it sold in a few hours for 8.99 people buy this because if you want to legally emulate the dragon's lair games you can take the video footage off of this and use it with the emulator i mean you could also download stuff on the internet and not pay for it but if you want to be legal you can take the footage off of that this version of the game uses and use it with the emulator which plays the game much better than this CD does. I sold a lot of World of Warcraft game cards and decks, $27. It's not it's upstairs, it's not very interesting to look at, so we're not going to worry about it. Sold this Warhammer Chaos Sorcerer of Tizinch on flying discs. The Warhammer Wizards and Sorcerers that are on flying discs seem to be quite valuable. I don't know if this is, they don't make them anymore or what, but this guy sold for $23.96. Sold a teacup. I'll put a photo up since it's already semi-packed up. $11. Obviously, my wife bought that because pretty much couldn't pay me to take glass. That's all for now. All right, I sold this vintage Pitney Bowes uh, postage scale. Only $7.48. It's because it's heavy. A lot of money paid on shipping. I might make a little bit on the shipping on this. I often do on heavy things. A vintage metal space marine with a plasma cannon. He sold for $15. This is a remote control car battery charger. Still in the plastic. Six bucks. Sold in about two days. Not bad. A bag of Rage Werewolf collectible card game cards. This is from 1995 or 1996 or, or so when after Magic the Gathering came out when every other company in the world tried to come out with collectible card games. These had been sitting in one of my death boxes for years. I think I bought them with a Magic collection. A Rawlings, vintage Rawlings mitt, uh, light toe. Uh, this sold for $50.77. I believe I paid $1 for it. Little Feet, Time Loves a Hero, $5.80. That's all for now. All right, that's all the sales we've got for this one. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, if you know anybody else who's forgetting to list things, why don't you uh, tell about this station? You can use the subscribers. Thanks, and I hope to see you again soon. See, that's, that's one-foot flippers nonsense video.